Well, today we're replacing the lift pump on my 95 Dodge Ram 2500. It is the 12 valve Cummins. Um, this should apply to anything that has the mechanical lift pump on the side of the block. I'll look up the years and put that in the description below. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, like any good YouTube mechanic, I've watched a couple tutorials and we're going to smash a couple together here. So for starters, we're going to remove the master cylinder and kind of pull it away from the brake booster just to give you some room to access the other things that you'll have to take off. Use a 15 millimeter socket for We've those two nuts. The master cylinder kind of, at least it's movable, so it's kind of out of my way. I'm going to take the fuel filter next. Alright, so fuel filter was there, lift pump is down there, um, there we go, get it to focus. So that, this hose needs to come off, um, then you'll loosen up this fitting up there. On the top of the fuel filter you'll want to remove this guy just so that you can get on top of this one. You gotta remove that one, so 12 millimeter, 17, 18. Once you loosen this up, then you've got movement in this hose, which goes down to the bottom there. That's a 916. Both of these bolts are out. They are 10 millimeter. Um, for me, it was easier to use just like a quarter inch with an extension. And once you get it out a little ways, to use like a screwdriver. And now all there's left to do is to... Alright, so we've got this guy out. We will have to reuse this end here. And there's some gasket that we'll have to scrape off of the block here to put the new. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and take this off. You just need a couple crescent wrenches. That'll get this off so you can reuse it on your new lift pump. And now we're going to have to do the reverse. Everything we just did to put this back together. With everything kind of cleaned up, we're ready to go ahead and reinstall. Alright, so we're here. Um, we've got our new lift pump with our recycled fitting put on there. Um, it does come with gaskets. I scraped the old gasket off the block. Um, you're pretty much just going to redo everything you did in reverse. The trick is going to be inserting this back into the block. You want to be really careful not to bend the plunger. Alright, so you can't really, really tell, but I kind of dipped it in oil. Um, it's about to drip right there. And I have used masking tape to get this bolt to stay so that I can focus on like getting this thing lined up and not have to worry about the bolt falling off of my tool so we can get the bolt started. Since this is a mechanical lift pump, it's actually driven off of the camshaft on the engine. You may need to rotate it in order to get the pump on and started. All right, now if you need to move the crank like I do, you're gonna go underneath the truck from the bottom right there, 15 millimeter, make sure that you're tightening it and you can turn the engine over pretty easily. And that'll get the cam to kind of cooperate and orient how you need it to. All right, so there you have it. Um, that's my quick and basic tutorial on how to install the lift pump on your second gen 12 valve diesel truck. Um, I hope it was helpful. I tried to show more of the angles that I didn't get to see or like give you some tips and pointers on tools that I didn't get to see on the tutorials that I watched. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next time.